Healthy Recipes with Gina. I couldn't be more excited today. I'm gonna to be showing you all how easy it is to make delicious stuffed salmon. We're gonna stuff this salmon with crab meat. This recipe is gonna turn your taste buds out. Here are the lovely ingredients you're gonna need. You're gonna need some fresh salmon. And when you purchase your salmon, I suggest that you look for the thicker cut of salmon because we need to slice it so we can stuff it. You're gonna need some spinach. Now I took just a nice handful of fresh spinach and I kind of wilted it in the microwave just for a good 10 seconds. You will also need some crab meat. So I chose to get the lump crab meat that comes in the can. You can use two cans or one can. All depends on how many pieces of salmon you're gonna be making. We have some plant-based butter. We also have some mayonnaise that's gonna bring great flavor. And this mayonnaise has the olive oil in it. And then we have the dairy-free Parmesan cheese. We're gonna be using cream cheese, some beautiful lemon, and some great spices. Those spices are garlic and onion powder, black pepper, salt-free Mrs. Dash, and parsley flakes. Make sure your hands are clean. Let's get started with this exciting recipe, Gina style. So the first thing that we need to do is I wanna show you how to put a pocket into your salmon. Now there's a couple of different ways. And the first way that I'm gonna talk about is the way that I'm not gonna do it. This first way that I want to explain is you can make a slit in the top and it's real easy to cut open and feel, but if you put the slit in the top, you can't fry your salmon in the pan. Okay, so what you would be doing, if you wanted to put your stuffing and your filling in the top, you're gonna to be baking it in the oven. Okay, so the reason for that is because you can't flip it over on one side. So what we're gonna do, since we wanna cook it in the pan, we're gonna get smart, and we're gonna make a pocket on the side right here. Come on down and look. We're gonna make a pocket right there. If you wanna bake it in the oven, open it up right here, stuff it with filling and it can bake. Since we're gonna to need to turn it on the top and the bottom, we put our slit right here. But the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna trim this baby up. Okay, so you can see that this is a really thin part. But by all means, we're not gonna waste this, okay? We are definitely gonna use this, but for a later day. Okay, look at that. So now that we have this part taken off, next thing that I wanna do, I wanna turn it this way and I want to begin to make the pocket okay so here's how it's done give me one second and I'll be right back so we've came across what I've noticed is we came across a little issue take a look at this looks like somebody at the local market tried to sabotage me maybe they knew I was going to be making stuffed salmon but no worries because guess what we're going to do we're gonna work our way around it. We're gonna turn it around this way. <laughs> you bet we are. And then we're gonna make our pocket from here. Okay, so I'm gonna go in just like so, making sure that I don't cut through the this way. And I don't wanna take the knife all the way this way either. I just wanna make a pocket deep enough. Can you see where it's opening up? I'm pretty sure you all can see. I want my pocket to be deep enough so we can get some nice filling in. And I also don't wanna cut through this way, okay? So I can kind of feel that the knife is right here. That's exactly what I'm wanting. I'm going through just a little bit deeper. All you need is a little teeny tiny pocket. Once you have your pocket, stop because you don't wanna to go too deep. So now that I have that, what we're gonna do, I'm getting ready to come back and show you how easy it is to make this delicious filling. How easy was that? Putting the pocket in. Just take your knife and you just keep on kind of sawing through while you're holding and pulling up on the top part, right? Making sure that you're not cutting through the bottom, making sure you're not cutting through the sides or poking out through the other side. You got it. Easy as cake, right? Absolutely. So we have some beautiful lump crab meat. Look how gorgeous. Oh my goodness. And then, like I said, that small handful of spinach, we just wilted it for a good 10 to 12 seconds. All right. And I'm making a lot of the stuffing because we're going to be making more salmon later. But for this video, we're just going to do just one piece. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to take that wilted spinach 
just like so. And if you're that person, you don't like spinach, by all means, you can use bell peppers. Bell peppers would be such a great addition. You can use onion and garlic, anything to bring in great flavor. But one thing we're not gonna use, one thing we're not gonna use in this recipe, because this recipe is healthy, we're not gonna use any breadcrumbs. Nope, we're gonna use the healthy mayonnaise that has um, olive oil in it. It's gonna bring a great flavor and it's gonna help to hold our filling together. All right, so let's get some in there and I'm gonna show you, start off with a little bit. A little bit will allow you to add more. When, you, when you're when you adding um, like um, some type of dressing to anything, always start off with a little bit. If you add too much in the beginning, it's hard to take away and then you kind of ruin it and mess it up, okay? So let's mix in our beautiful mayonnaise, just like so, like I said, great flavor there. All right, beautiful. So now that we have that mixed in, we want to add some of this acid from the lemon. The lemon is gonna really brighten up the whole dish. I wanna get rid of those two seeds real quick. And then I'm just gonna squeeze just a little bit. You don't have to put a whole lot because later if you want to, you can turn around and sprinkle a little bit of fresh lemon on top of your salmon. So let's mix that in. Oh, it's creamy, it's dreamy, and I, I could eat it like that right now. Okay, so now we're gonna take some of this Parmesan cheese. It's soy-free, it's vegan, it's lactose-free, dairy-free, and it is delicious. Let's go ahead and put some Parmesan in there for great flavor. All right, there we go. And then I'm literally gonna use just about I'd like to say maybe one and a half ounces of the cream cheese. Make sure your cream cheese is room temperature so that it really blends in with this here. If it's rock hard and it's really cold, it's not gonna mix into this like we want it to. When I come back, we'll have cream cheese, we'll be mixing it in. So now a little tiny bit of this cream cheese is going to hold it together. It's gonna make it creamy and dreamy. Keep in mind, you wanna have this at room temperature. Let's just say you go to make it and you forgot to turn it at room temperature. Well, you're gonna turn around and nuke it in the microwave literally just for 10 seconds. You're not trying to melt it because melting it will mess up the consistency of the filling and that's not what we're looking for. And I'm taking the time to break it off like this because just putting it in one lump is never going to separate in the mix. So now once I get that in, I'm gonna go ahead and season this uh, very nicely with the Mrs. Dash salt-free seasoning and a little bit of garlic powder. Mrs. Dash going in. I'm not gonna be afraid to season. And you don't have to feel bad when you're putting this seasoning in. It's salt-free and it tastes good. Garlic powder, how about it? This mixture right here by itself is delicious. Let's get all of that well incorporated, just like so, and then guess what time it is. It's time to rock and roll. It's time to fill up our salmon, just like so. I wanna show you all how much oil I have in this pan. It's really not a lot, just a little bit to coat the pan. When I come back, I need to cough, y'all. <laughs> Give me a second, I'll be right back. You gotta season the top of the salmon here, okay? Now, if you want to use an Old Bay seasoning or some type of seafood seasoning, absolutely you can. It's gonna give you great flavor. So all of the seasonings I showed you earlier, which is the garlic, the onion powder, the black pepper, parsley flakes, Mrs. Dash, we're putting that on just like so in this manner. Parsley flakes is always for color. Gorgeous, it's when it fries up, it's gonna be so pretty. And so now that we have that done, let's stuff it. Okay, open up sesame. <laughs> yes, that's right, open up sesame. Look at that. And use the back of your spoon or a butter knife, whichever you may, and stuff that baby. And after you get it nice and stuffed, you can take the top and push it down, okay? Put in as much or as least as you would like to have in. Here at the Young's house, we like to stuff that baby like that. Okay, now listen, let's talk about possibilities while the pan heats up. You want that pan nice and hot when this uh, salmon goes into the pan. And we're gonna put that salmon into the pan um, seasoning side down. Oh yes, and you know what? I don't know if y'all can see in here that sizzle. You must see in here that sizzle if you don't. 
your pan's not hot enough. The pan must be hot. When I come back, we're gonna take a peek in at it. And one thing that I always like to tell people when you're making salmon, you will literally see like white coming up the side of the salmon. And when the white comes up to the middle of the salmon, that means it's time to flip the salmon over and get the other side cooked. Time to flip it over. You know when it's time to flip it. You'll see a golden brown ring towards the bottom. Go ahead and get it. And you're looking for a beautiful color onto your salmon. Let's flip it and be very careful. There we go, gorgeous. Oh my goodness, yes, oh wait, so look at this. This, all of the spices have blackened on there and that is what you call flavor and some. So now, I, what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna take and put this into the oven on 375 degrees for about just 10 minutes, just to make sure that our inside filling is nice and warm. Get this into the oven for 10 minutes, 375 degrees, and the last five minutes, I want you to put a little bit of this plant butter right on top, and you're gonna squeeze some lemon on. Our salmon has came out of the oven. It's been 10 minutes. Take a look at the filling now. So now when you put this in the oven, what happens is we're completely making sure that that filling that we put in the inside is completely nice and warm through. Look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Listen here. You never had stuffed salmon, Gina Young style? You better make you some. Don't miss this recipe. Oh, put some lemon on the side. You have to, have to. Take a look. <laughs> Listen here. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell the world about Gina, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful meal today. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Take one more look. Ooh, you better make you some. We're gonna try this together. Amen again once to my beautiful prayer, once again to my beautiful prayer. <laughs> I'm going straight in for the crab meat. Ooh, and the flaky, flaky, flakiness. <laughs> Ooh, get on my fork. Look at this. This, let me see. I gotta flake it open so you can see. Ha ha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Tell the whole world about this recipe. God bless. Good night. Enjoy the recipe. Mm-hmm. <laughs>